All right, folks, definitely a big change of scenery from where we were fishing yesterday. Right behind me here is actually a giant shopping center, but across the street is a little pond. So game plan for today, just gonna be doing some good old fashioned pond hopping, something I have not done in years, honestly. And uh, something that always intrigues me about fishing down here in Florida, because there's so many different bodies of water in so many spots where big largemouth bass could be lurking. So that's the goal for today, doing some chill, Freshwater fishing, got all afternoon sunset today is at 7.45 due to the uh, first day of daylight savings time here. So before we jump in, just wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, No Surrender Gear. But more on that later, let's uh, get everything all rigged and ready and start cranking some greenies. You. And today folks, we've got the OG chest mount back on just for fresh water, like a little more POV. And uh, first thing first, check out this backpack. No surrender gear sent me, so I wish I could have done as sick of an unboxing as I already did, but I actually had this bad boy up fishing on the Salmon River in Pulaski, New York, literally one week ago today. And uh, unfortunately that video did not go well. I did not catch any steelhead, but check out a brief unboxing from that day. A couple days ago, this cardboard box showed up on my porch and inside we have a brand new outdoors backpack. Let's try to open this in the best way possible. All right, a uh, nice little message here. Dylan, we're stoked to have you on board. Enjoy the new gear, Austin. Thank you, Austin, for this nice post. Oh, did not know I was gonna get a, a water bottle in here. Main event, brand new backpack. This gear is very purpose-built. As you can see, just off rip, we've got a whole bunch of different pockets here. It's gonna be great to store my tackle, batteries, and we're honestly just gonna see whatever we can fit in this backpack. And I'll put a link in the description below. By the end of the video, you guys are convinced you want one of these for yourself. Well, you can pick one up, so. So huge shout out to them for sending this over my way. Um, but I've actually been using this bag for half of a month now, and I absolutely love it. I mean, this thing is packed to the teeth. If you saw yesterday's video, I actually used it doing some inshore waiting. So first thing first, we gotta unpack all the inshore essentials and swap them out for some bass stuff, so. Boom. All right, now it's time to get rigged up. All right, there we go. Little worm on a jig head as a uh, Guggen bass guy. I think that looks pretty good to start, so. All right, we are about to find out if anything actually lives in this water body. Besides alligators, of course. It looks really good. Got some beautiful lily pad structure over here. Whatever the hell this thing is. All right. First cast. Right in the middle of the lily pad. It's great. First cast. All right, first cast could not have gone any better. That is so awesome. Reel is 1,000% jamming up from yesterday's saltwater dunk. That'll be a little interesting challenge to add on top. Let's try this again. Hmm, no love on the straight bait here. The wind is proving to be a bit of a challenge here at this spot. If there even are any fish that live here, I, I don't know about that. This looks good here. This looks real good here. Got him, got him. Oh, just had something huge right there, dude. What the heck? All right, so there are fish in here. Just had an absolute giant something right there. All right, now we know there's fish in here. Let's try to cover a little bit more ground and uh, see if we can actually get right on top of them. Let's try a little Kai tech over here. Let's try to cover a little bit more ground, see exactly what could be lurking in this super public pond. All right, no love on the Kai tech. All right, there we go. Maybe the fish needs something that stands out, makes a little more noise. Let's see if the chatterbait can produce. Mm. 
No love. There he is, fish. Nope. Oh, man. First catch of the day. Just spooked something there with my feet, too. There aren't fish in here. I just don't know why they don't want to bite anything. I've thrown, like, everything I got at them. Well, oh, maybe in this little spillway here. Oh, I see something down there, actually. I don't know if that's a fish or what. Or was something resting right here. There he is, there he is, there he is. No! No! Oh, our first fish of the day lost. No. A little dink, but still. Finally got bit. Nada. All right, a couple strikes there at that spot, but no hits. On to the next one. All right, here we are at spot number two. Did a brief Google Maps scout this morning, added a bunch of pins, so the rest of the day we're just gonna be bouncing between pins and uh, see if we can get lucky somewhere. We got dirty water here, but there are a bunch of other guys fishing, so I uh, don't know if I'm gonna spend too much time here. Just wanna cover as much water as possible, be pretty efficient. Uh, either get bit and move on to somewhere else. No love, off to spot three. There he is, there he is. Oh, there we go. Easy drop. First landed fish of the day. Oh, a little dink. Well, that counts right there for sure. There we go. First little fish of the day. Micro, micro dink. <laughs> See you, dude. I did actually have one fish earlier that uh, unfortunately the GoPro wasn't recording for, but first fish on the board. Of course, as it gets darker, the fish are going to bite a little bit more. So we've got about two hours till sunset. Stay tuned. Got a lot of fish to catch. A lot of catching up to you. Oh my God, we landed on a fish. <laughs> I was wondering why I went down so quick. Another jumbo right there. All right, there's gotta be some big fish in here, maybe. Killed the skunk pretty quick. Oh my God, that's like the smallest bass I've ever seen. See you, bro. There he is, on the fall again. Oh, this pond is fish, but they are micro, micro. That's three fish in like five minutes ago. I have a slight pattern to these guys. They like, they're eating it every single time on the initial fall. So I think big pops are gonna be the way to go. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Missed him. There he is. Got him. Got him again. <laughs> Another fish out of this corner here. Slightly, slightly bigger, if you can even say that. But after the day we've had so far, I'm just glad we're getting bit. See you, bro. I just need some size now, hopefully. That'd be great. You got a couple bigger fish. This actually looks really good over here. If I was a fish, I would 1,000% be in this corner. A little dock over there too, if we want to get out on that. There it is, there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> the dink of dinks. That's a trophy there. There's gotta be a bigger fish somewhere in here. Can't all be rats, right? Oh yeah, got him. That's a better one. No, stay down, stay down. Must have hit him right in the head. That's a better fish. Not a giant, 
not a giant by any means. Get up here, yes. Biggest fish of the day so far. Nothing by Florida standards. And I uh, definitely have to do this and catch some bigger fish, but <sighs> that's a solid, maybe two pound fish right there. I'm, I'm a pretty big person, so it probably looks small, but I'll take that all day. See you, dude. Same thing, just casted it. As soon as it hit the water, we were on. I'm pretty sure I'm getting waved at. But, uh, might be time to get out of here. All right. About 45 minutes until sunset. Let's see where we can go here. All right, looks like we're going golfing. All right, so we caught a couple fish in the last spot, but no real size. So uh, time check is actually 7:10 right now. Haven't changed the time yet on the clock, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish here at this golf course pond. Actually, you don't see any signs saying no trespassing. I just picked this on Google Maps in like 30 seconds. So, uh, well, let's get out there and hopefully no one will mind us trying to catch some toads before the sun sets. Oh, this is OD as hell. Better be a swanch in here. There he is. There he is. Did not take long at all. Boom. Quick little golf course dangle. Got him. Golf course is actually incredibly busy right now, so I want to wait a little bit longer before we walk out there. It's probably our last spot for the day. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Hit him right on the head. Dink. Dink of dinks. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, oh. Actually, a decent fish just spat it on us. Damn, dude. I wish we would have got kicked out instead of teased like that. There are a bunch of bats blowing up. I tried throwing the frog around for a little bit, but right now it's too dark. GoPro is dead. So we're going to have to call it a day here, folks. Not a stellar day of bass fishing by any means, but for a Jersey saltwater guy, I, uh, I'm just happy I honestly caught some fish. I got no idea what I'm doing. I'm fishing with a saltwater corroded Daiwa BG uh, with very limited tackle. But uh, that's going to wrap it up here, folks. Again, shout out to no surrender gear for sponsoring this video check out their backpacks link below support me by supporting the companies that support me and uh that's all folks never end the send there he is there he is no way for the last light frog bass boom <laughs> gotcha all right i just got done saying no bass on the frog, but got ourselves a little one there. Boom, little frog bass smoked about my feet. <laughs> Again, nothing big today, but grinded it out all day. Same as yesterday, freshwater versus saltwater. Uh, catching a couple fish here, the last lick of light. I wonder if there's any more hungry ones. Got him in the bush, through the bush. Oh yeah, good fish. It's a good fish too. Hung up in a tree. Come off the tree. Come off the tree. Can't get in the water. Can though. Do not want to go in this water, bro. Well, I guess we got no choice. Hopefully no gators in here. This is a terrible idea. Hopefully we don't drown. Quicksand. Oh, this is such a bad idea, dude. Oh, the bass is gone. Got our frog, though. Well, I knew we weren't getting out of that that easily. <laughs> now we're ending the day completely soaked. But we caught one frog fish, had another giant strike. But uh, now I'm gonna do the long drive wet home. 
never run the same folks <laughs> what a day i'll catch you guys in the next one